Are you someone who used to read about space in the textbooks and wonder if human civilization can be established outside of Earth? Well, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is determined to make it happen. Musk is often in the news for his groundbreaking innovations in the world of technology. This time, the Tesla CEO is in the limelight because of his extraordinary space marvel, the Starship. This humongous spacecraft is no surprise coming from SpaceX, as Elon Musk has actively expressed his interest in establishing a human civilization on Mars in the past. The latest buzz in space news is that the rocket will be tested in January. But is SpaceX really ready to launch the Starship in 2022? Let's talk about how Starship will alter the space world, its features, and if SpaceX is really capable of launching their greatest rocket in 2022. For those of you who are not aware, Starship is SpaceX's futuristic bullet-shaped rocket ship, which is said to be a game-changer for space travel. Firstly, Elon Musk surely has big dreams, but is this Starship capable enough to turn this ambition into a reality? In order to answer this question, let's look at how the Starship came into being. In the year 2016, SpaceX began the project of developing a massive launch system, which has been in development ever since. This launch system includes two major components, a 230-foot booster rocket in its first stage called Super Heavy. You can imagine a booster the size of a 22-story building. This would be topped by the 165-foot spacecraft called Starship. Altogether, the whole thing would stand nearly 390 feet tall. Initially, this humongous spacecraft was named the Interplanetary Transport System. But you must be wondering, why is the prospect of Starship's orbit getting so much traction? Isn't it just another rocket by Tesla? While, yes, it is true that anything that Tesla or SpaceX launches gains a lot of eyeballs due to the crazy fan base of Musk, this time around it is not another launch that we are excited for. SpaceX's latest project, the Starship, is a spacecraft that, for the first time in the history of the space industry, will take ordinary humans to another planet and open up the possibility of establishing another civilization outside Earth. Musk was even found saying regarding the Starship, needs to be such that anyone can go if they want, with loans available for those who don't have money. If everything works according to the initial design, Starship will be the world's largest, most powerful launch system. Currently, the crown for being the biggest launch system is occupied by NASA's Saturn V. This launch system was employed for the Apollo moon missions, but they were shorter and less powerful. They produced merely 7.8 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. On the contrary, Starship is estimated to produce at least 17 million pounds of thrust. Each launch by Starship would generate adequate thrust to send a mass worth of seven fully loaded school buses with 100 people into orbit. What's interesting about this spacecraft is that it is designed to carry 220,000 pounds of payload into low Earth orbit. To explain why it is wonderful, we can compare the Starship to SpaceX's Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 could not even carry a four times lesser payload, even in its max capacity. Another feature that the space world has never witnessed is a reusable spacecraft. Well, Starship is designed to be the first ever entirely reusable space launching system. The Starship would not be reusable alone, but its companion, the Super Heavy, is also designed to be reused. By reusability, what we are trying to say is that the Starship would land back on the ground like an airplane, unlike other launch systems whose hardware elements are discarded in the sea or burnt. Let's move on to talk about the design of the Starship. The addition of reusability has certainly made the model more complicated than its predecessors. For instance, the Starship has to be protected when it re-enters the Earth's orbit because the heat produced during the penetration can roast all the functioning electronic components in the spacecraft, causing serious damage. This is why the ship is covered on the side, which will be exposed to the heat, with heat-resistant ceramic tiles. If you want to actually picture the launch of the Starship, you can imagine the powerful spaceship combined with the giant booster taking off, and after the booster runs low on fuel, it would unplug from the spacecraft and make its way back to the Earth. SpaceX will make this possible by deploying steel, waffle-like structures to the sides of the booster called grid fin. This will help in steering the rocket back to the launch pad. Due to their aim of making the spacecraft reusable, SpaceX has also designed a unique landing system for Starship. When the Starship reaches the Earth's orbit, it would experience almost a freefall in a belly-first position, till about 500 meters of altitude, to ensure the greatest physically possible velocity. After that, it would light its highly efficient Raptor engines, swing from a horizontal to a vertical position using its rear flaps so that it can land tail down. 
Musk, however, has an exciting plan to catch the rocket mid-air instead of landing on its legs, through which they can reduce the chances of failed landing. For this purpose, the Starship would have 32 Raptor engines. The unique design of Starship ensures that the combustion in its engine takes place in stages and cuts the amount of propellant wasted. Hence, when it lands back, it can be refilled with propellant in a short period of time and made ready for another takeoff. In the middle of the ship, there are propellant tanks to feed liquid methane and liquid oxygen to the Raptors. As a matter of fact, these fuels are not typically associated with engines of rockets. Nonetheless, methane has the capacity to generate a great amount of thrust. Another reason for choosing methane is that the Tesla CEO has a theory of synthesizing methane on Mars. According to Musk, with the help of a chemical process known as the Sabatier reaction, methane can be synthesized from the subsurface water found on Mars and the atmospheric CO2. Thus, the Starship can be refueled before it returns to the Earth using Martian resources, just like cars can be refueled during long drives. This would not only make the journey of Starship much more expedient, but also make it equally cost-effective. Speaking about cost-effectiveness, due to the reusable design of the launching system, Starship can reduce the cost of a single launch to up to $2 million. Let's have a look at the costs of some other space launching systems to determine if this amount is really cost-effective. The Space Shuttle costs almost $1.6 billion per mission, with a mere payload capacity of 65,000 pounds. Even its successor, the Space Launch System (SLS), is estimated to cost a minimum of $900 million per launch when it has a payload of just 154,000 pounds. Thus, the Starship could disproportionately increase the accessibility of space to the ordinary public. In a conversation with MIT Technology Review, Andrew Westfall, a physics lecturer at UC Berkeley, commented, The low cost of access has the potential to really change the game for science research. You can imagine privately financed missions and a consortium of citizens who get together to fly things. What Starship has set out to achieve is larger than life. Musk plans to send out 100 Starship rockets to the Red Planet every 25 months when the orbits of Earth and Mars are aligned. Moreover, the high capacity for the low-cost model can aid in sending huge instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope to space at low rates. Coming back to the design, towards the upper stage of the ship there would be a huge compartment to accommodate the payload, whether people or cargo. Elon Musk has plans to install around 40 cabins in the payload compartment. Finally, let's talk about the most awaited question of all, when will the Starship orbit? Various prototypes of the upper stage have already been tested by SpaceX in their Boca Chica space facility in Texas. There have been some failures and improvisations since the test as well. SpaceX is now testing its 20th Starship prototype, SN20, before the anticipated orbital test flight. This time, however, it won't be a test of solely the upper stage. The test flight would include the entire Starship system, including the Super Heavy. The Federal Aviation Administration is in the process of evaluating the environmental impact of the launch and will give their call by February 28th. Consequently, the Starship is said to tentatively go into a test flight by March 2022. On December 27th, Musk had tweeted, First flight is hopefully two to three months away. Initially, the spacecraft was estimated to orbit in January 2022, but an accidental explosion during a fuel tank pressurization test in November led to a delay. Visionary SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is perhaps the only entrepreneur who is taking active steps to fulfill his ambition of making life interplanetary. This is not just a dream out of cosmic curiosity. Musk believes that humans cannot rely on the future of the Earth for not making life interplanetary. According to him, a single cosmic mishap could wipe out the entire human civilization on Earth. Thus, by the year 2050, Musk aims to take at least a million people to the Red Planet in preserving humankind. His goal is to set up tons of jobs on Mars and send at least an average of three starships per day in the future to Mars, so anyone can go. This may be the biggest interplanetary migration one can conceive of. The starship certainly has to undergo several test flights and prototype testing before it can carry humans to orbit, but there is no doubt that it will certainly enable countless interplanetary missions. Let us know your thoughts on this incredible launch in the form of Starship by Tesla and Space CEO Musk in the comments below.